I'm glad to be back. I've been traveling. I've been in these streets. I've been out in New York. We got New Yorkers here. Yeah, where you from? What part of New York? You from Queens? Yeah, you look like you from Queens. Y'all got a Queens ass relationship right there. That's multicultural. Your baby gonna be hard working like a motherfucker. That's just, cause you Nigerian or something, nigga. You ain't a regular nigga. Yeah. Yeah, you Nigerian. You got that Nigerian hoodie on. I'll see you, nigga. What is this shit? Why are you going with that Indian girl? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> I was out there in New York in December. I like cold New York. It's a beautiful place. And, and y'all understand, cold weather is good weather for people that got nipple insecurity, all right? I got nipple insecurity. I got weird looking ass nipples. When they warm and comfortable in the California weather, they all flat look like USB ports. I don't like. I got fat nigga nipples. I got them too. You. you know what I'm saying? He knows what I'm talking about right there, fam. You know, nipples just flat to the motherfucker. You're like, fuck, my nipples ain't perky. And so, when I'm in New York and I'm cold and the nipples is perky like a motherfucker, and I like that. Cause I, here's the thing, I got nipple insecurity from my family, all right? It, what, what it is is, okay, my father is an amazing man. He has so many attributes that I want of his, but one of the things I don't want of my father is his nipples, because they weird looking, all right? Look, for y'all, I'll give you a visual. All right, you know them things on, behind the door that stop the door from hitting the wall? <laughs> Go, do, 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 like that. That's what they look like on his chest. <laughs> and he an older black man. He in his 80s, so he's in his flowy stage. He's in his flowy era. And if you know any old black man, that means he wears lots of linen clothes, lots of nice open shit. He dresses like a middle-aged white lesbian right now. Like just very, just very open shit. Shirts always kind of don't close. They always, it's just that one nipple just sticking out and my kids be wanting to hug. I'm like, get away, you can't go, gonna lose an eye. <laughs> can't afford glasses for two kids, god damn. I'm back in SF, I'm glad to be back in the Bay. I'm from the Bay, I'm Berkeley, California, I represent. I live in LA now, but uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back in San Francisco amongst my third favorite group of white people. <laughs> my first favorite group of white people are old Oakland white people. Yeah, these are the old Oakland people. They either look like Al Davis, uh, Hell's Angels, or Roadie for the Rolling Stones. They, they all named Dan. Yeah, they <laughs> talk like this. Like they got, you know, they, they the only white people that smoke Newports. Like that's how. <laughs> They grew up in Oakland, they, you know, they, I, don't, I don't like the new Oakland white people, y'all weird. Y'all move to Oakland and you get robbed and you bitch about it, like. like and the Oakland ain't got robbed, bitches, Oakland, everybody gets robbed. It's part of your bills, you got your light, your rent, your robbery, grow the fuck up and pay that shit. I got robbed by my cousin, what the fuck are we talking about out here? My second favorite group of white people, Asians. <laughs> I love Asians so much. I got your back, Asians. I'm an accomplice. When they said stop Asian hate, I was like, nah. Asian people should be able to hate whoever the fuck they want. They're a third of the population. What the fuck are we talking about? Just saying. Did y'all celebrate Valentine's Day? Did y'all do the boo 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 thing? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah, you. 32, you too old to be celebrating Valentine's Day. <laughs> Especially if you get some punk ass cards and shit. Like you, and oh, you know, look, I, I was married and I realized the most romantic Valentine's Day you can give a woman over 30 is a bra. That's the most, not one of them cute little Victoria's Secret bras, one of them motherfuckers that hold them titties every day. One of them construction bras, one of them industrial bras. <laughs> you buy, you know how much them bras are? Bras like $250, that's a better gift than flowers. And ladies, if you wanna give a man a good gift for Valentine's Day, we don't want no roses, we don't want no cards, you know what we want? Silence. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up for a day. If you gotta say it, wait till tomorrow. Just, you know, 
If you walk in a room, you just see me join it, just be like. <laughs> mm. I'm 45 now. I'm in my 40s, yeah, I'm in my 40s. I'm in my 40s and I still wear Jordans. I got back pain in Jordans. <laughs> That's a combination you're not supposed to have. Like, you wear a George, you're supposed to be at least do one basketball move. You're supposed to be like, ah, you know. I'd be like, ah, shit. Fuck. I need some orthopedic Jordans. What the fuck?